when you're getting ready to go cruising, how prepared can you be? And are there ways that you can practice long before you get out on the water? Hi, I'm Nika Waters and welcome to the Boat Galley Podcast. Today, I'm sharing three ways that you can practice getting ready to go cruising even when you're on land. Today's episode of the Boat Galley Podcast is sponsored by My Island Wi-Fi, your go-to source for secure Bahamas internet. Planning on a visit to the Bahamas and wanting the security of unlimited Wi-Fi? Look no further. Featuring monthly plans with no long-term commitment, My Island Wi-Fi offers unlimited 4G hotspot rentals with no hidden fees or throttling. Visit MyIslandWiFi.com to reserve your device now. My Island Wi-Fi vacation without limits. Let's face it, this pandemic thing, it's probably not a lifestyle a whole lot of us would have chosen ahead of time. Sure, for some of us, it is not horrible and not terrible and not all that different than the way we might have lived our lives anyway. For others, it's extraordinarily challenging. Ooh, scratch all of this. Let's face it, This pandemic, it's probably not a lifestyle anybody would have willingly chosen off the bat. Here's a silver lining though. I thought I would share with you three ways that you can prepare for cruising while you're in this pandemic. Step number one, think about the things that you like. Take the time to look and learn. And here's the big thing, give yourself permission to like the stuff that you like. It's really easy to get caught up in all the would-haves and should-haves and woulds and coulds and ought-tos and to think that maybe there's some sort of, I don't know, bar you're supposed to reach when you're talking about going cruising and that you're only supposed to like certain kinds of food or certain kinds of clothing or certain kinds of games or certain kinds of music. But newsflash and hint, being able to focus on the things that bring you joy, not to quote Marie Kondo at all, but she's got a point. Use and enjoy the things that make you happy. It doesn't matter what somebody else thinks. So practice that during this time. Number two, go for self-sufficiency. Cruising is, after all, all about being self-sufficient. And this you can practice incredibly well at home. Sure, you can focus on the cooking and the food prep and the baking and the making do with the things that you already have on hand, but that's not the only place that self-sufficiency works. Let's say the toilet springs a leak. Maybe do a little bit of research and focus on YouTube and see if you can fix it before you call somebody. This research bit is actually pretty key because researching is going to be an important part of your skill as you get ready to go cruising. Pretend that you're heading to some dream destination and do the research. Research whether you need a visa. Research where the grocery store is. Research where the laundromat is. Research what the anchorages are like or what the weather is like or whether there's a better time of year to get there or not. In short, this is a great time for you to hone your research skills and to practice some of that. Number three is conservation. Whether you're talking about energy or water or money or lots of other things, a successful cruise can very frequently come down to how well you manage all of these ideas. And energy, yes, I'm talking about electricity and remembering to turn off the lights when you leave a room, but I'm also talking about understanding conservation of your own energy, your own mental energy, and what you can handle. That's a pretty big one right now. It's really easy to get completely overwhelmed. And understanding that that's something that happens when you're cruising too, recognize it. Figure out what it is that you need to do to be able to make that work for you and still be able to put one foot in front of the other and do the things that you need to do. Certainly, Conservation of water is a huge part of going cruising. Even if you have a water maker, even if you have a high-powered water maker, you're generally not going to waste water. So practice that now. Practice turning off the faucet 
while you're brushing your teeth or washing your hands. Maybe be judicious in laundry and instead of changing your clothes three times a day because you feel like wearing a different shirt and just throwing it into the laundry, maybe you fold it and you put it back in your closet or figure out a way to say, hey, I've worn this before, but I can wear it again because it doesn't quite need a wash yet. And of course, the money conservation question is practice not buying stuff, right? Practice using up what you have. Practice not just buying something because you see it on a whim and you think you want it. Sure, if you want to do that, you completely can do it. It's all up to you. And so much of the budget and money conversation is an it depends question. But practicing how to manage the resource of money when you're cruising is definitely something that comes down to affecting the way the cruise turns out for you. So start becoming mindful of it right now. And then there's a bonus one. I know I said only three. I alluded to this a little bit earlier, but I highly recommend practicing compassion. It's really easy to get frustrated with others and with yourself a little bit. It's awfully easy during this pandemic to get frustrated with others and maybe with yourself and to get caught up in the news cycle and think that everything is going terribly. It's easy to blame others. It's easy to focus outside. Learning how to live in this reality, and the pandemic is a reality, it's a lifestyle difference, so is cruising. And whether you're choosing the pandemic or not, and whether sometimes you're maybe not the one choosing the cruising lifestyle either, but practicing compassion with yourself is a great way to tackle what can be challenging in ways that you hadn't ever anticipated. It's all worth it. And the practice that you get to do means that you're just more ready when that next lifestyle, hopefully this is one of your own choosing, comes to fruition. I'm looking forward to sharing an anchorage with you when we both get out there. Thanks so much for listening to the Boat Galley podcast. We love hearing from listeners. We love it when you share us with your friends. And we certainly love it when you leave us a five-star review. Have a safe and healthy week. 